for the voice. Yeah. So soothing. Amazing. Yes, yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to welcome you to the golden child of the weekdays, the superhero of the work week. The welcome wagon to the weekend. And you know, life is so good, especially on Fridays, because you get to pause on all that hard work and just relax, have fun, and be taken care of. Yes, so yes sir. Very important. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are in the groovy mood already, guys, and we ain't slowing down. We have a great lineup as usual. So don't worry, we are ushering you into the weekend in a grand style. Mm, all mm, right. Mm, mm. <laughs> Having said that, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's your girl right here. Mm. My name is Honeypot. Welcome to the show. Yeah. So we close the show. Everybody, please no, go. No, we home. are restarting the show. So <laughs> we're going to like maybe what? we'll go and break and start again. Or uh, I'm maybe not that. Uh, maybe. Have you any because what's happening? Was... My name is Honeypot. Uh -huh. We know that already. Let's so, do this. So what should we do with this information? This particular information that you just give us, just like that. Yeah. Don't you love darlings? If you don't give us the remaining names, don't ever call them on the show again. <laughs> also known as Honey Sassy, <laughs> Honey Gege, <laughs> Honey Raba, <laughs> Raba Nalamba, <laughs> Honey Opo, <laughs> Honey Yeye. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. uh, 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 hey, you understand? Hey! <laughs> so guys, that is with her introduction, yes. and you know the rest. <laughs> all right, so you know my name. My name is Catherine, but y'all yeah. know me as Lady Cat, have real hotness. Yeah. Or Kit Cat, or Kate, or Queen Cat. See that Queen Cat, now you sit me die. Uh, oh. uh, Miss, uh, Miss TVC, yeah. hey. I mean for a whole year. For a whole year, yeah. that's mm. amazing. Mm. Ooh, okay, don't shout at us on the because I'm not good. Just for the record. Dala, <laughs> come correct with your introduction, or we'll introduce you. That's the way now. Is Dala? Eh? Uh, <laughs> Who is the song? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you don't believe yourself. Hey, I don't feel like that. No, something means. <laughs> All right, guys, it is your girl Dala, aka the goddess of scales. Some of you call me the goddess or Dala, la, 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 la. And I feel like I need like Christmas something inside uh, about it. I'll think about it. Uh, I'll think about it. Now you go do that one. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here is what we have lined up for you all today. We will be kicking off with the entertainment news. Check out celebrity birthdays, then we will be rewinding to this day in entertainment history, after which we will be joined by our first guest. Da la 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 will be the social view plug for today. Later on, one of us will be showing gratitude on the Chew It Out segment. We'll also be taking the news recap, then we will be joined by another set of guests who will be here to talk about something exciting going down today. Yes, it's Friday. And we come bearing gifts, courtesy the Sharp Sharp Gang Show giveaway. So look out for our special raffle draw. We will then wrap it all up with today's happiness. It is free! Shall we start the show already, my darlings? <laughs> yes, darlings. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Friday feeling. Fire boy with that one. Okay, so guys, let's just get straight into the entertainment news. Aquapen Polo files appeal notice to stay out of jail. In a rather shocking twist, Ghanaian actress and social media uh, sensation, Rosamond Alade Brown, popularly known as Aquapem Polo, has filed another appeal to avoid serving a jail term after the last uh, petition filed by a lawyer was dismissed. Uh, the actress is ready to fight a bit more to stay out of jail. And uh, through our lawyers, she has filed a notice of appeal against the 90-day jail term handed to her through our lawyers. Our lawyers are requesting a reversal of the dismissal of an early petition seeking a non-custodial sentence for the actress by the High Court. The lawyers have also filed a notice for bill for Aqua Pempolo, who is currently serving a jail term. Just so you know, our lawyers had filed a petition earlier and uh, it, it was dismissed by a High Court judge who ruled that the 90 days um, uh, custodial uh, sentence imposed on her by the circuit court was not excessive and harsh. That ruling now meant that the actress had to go to jail to serve a 90 days jail term, actually. So we talked about this before. Yes, yes and we we're did. talking about it today. So she's appealing to stay out of jail. What do you guys think about that? Because we're saying that uh, we think mm. it's just like revisiting that issue. Let us just be like, let her serve some 
maybe community. Yeah, so I feel like um, she should have gotten a slap on the wrist type thing, not like a whole jail sentence, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, it's not like she's a recurring offender. Some people make decisions that they don't know what the, <laughs> what the end of it will be. Mm -hmm. Left to her, what she did, if she had known it would amount to all this, I don't think she would have done it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So it's like, a, we've, you've scared her enough. Mm -hmm. You have give her enough warning. Give her community service. Maybe she needs to do this, do this, or even maybe pay this or that. Jigger, just to serve as a deterrent to other people. But prison, I don't know. And I feel like it's thing, a lot. Another thing that's scary now is the fact that she was first rejoicing that she was free and back mm -hmm. with her son. And then now they're saying that they're going to give her son to someone and her son will be in someone's custody. Yeah. So obviously being back with your child and finding out that you're going to stay away from your child for 90 days, ah, it's a lot of many yeah. parents, especially mothers, would fight it. So I'm sure that's why she keeps appealing, even though she knows that last, last, maybe they'll just remove five or something days, but at least she doesn't want to give up. Yeah, I like that she's appealing. I like it too. Really nice. <sighs> All right, hopefully that gets sorted out. Um, mm. Still on the entertainment news, we have Rebel Wilson, who talks about her weight loss. Australian actress Rebel Wilson has come out to reveal details about her weight loss and how her management didn't approve of it. The actress, who shed over 70 pounds in the course of her fitness journey, which kicked off in 2020, made this known in an interview on BBC Breakfast, where she said her management wanted to keep her being the funny fat girl. She said, and I quote, I got a lot of pushback from my own team actually here in Hollywood when I said, okay, I'm going to do this year of health. I feel like I'm really going to physically transform and change my life. And they were like, why? Why would you want to do that? Because I was earning millions of dollars being the funny fat girl and being that person. End of quote. Rebel Wilson said that although she was always comfortable with her weight, she found comfort in food to escape her emotions as she struggled to establish herself as an actress. She said, and I quote, I know deep down inside that some of the emotional eating behaviors I was doing were not healthy. Like, I did not need a tub of ice cream every night. That was me kind of numbing emotions using food, which wasn't the healthiest thing, end of quote. She also added, and I quote again, I think it was dealing with not being a natural performer and having to perform every day and that pressure and internal stress to be able to perform like that, end of quote. All right, so um, this for me, first of all, she looks really good now. She looks really, really good now. Mm -hmm. um, it's the way she says that her team didn't want her to lose weight because she was making money being plus size. Typecast. Do you understand? So now it means that you're going to be typecast. Mm -hmm. You are officially only ever going to be the fat, the fat funny person. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, she might have done that for a while and it might have worked for her during that time. Yeah. So now she's saying, you know what? This isn't even just about work. This is about my own life and being healthy. So if they decide that they want her to be the fat funny girl and she's chosen not to be that person, I don't think anybody should judge her for anything. And she's a fantastic actress. So I feel like she will still get jobs Probably even more now that she's even healthier. I mean, look at Adele. I was about uh, to mention Adele that. Adele is a that snack now. I love the way celebrities are yeah. taking the reins themselves, yes. taking their lives themselves and saying, you know what, this is what my management wants, but this is what I want. I want. Adele's transformation was epic. Like, people didn't see it coming. And then Rebel Wilson's own two happened like that. And we're like, what? <laughs> so the last time I saw her in an action film, she was a funny fat partner. Yeah. But I'm trying to imagine her in the next action film being the skinny, funny partner. Exactly. But still being funny. Because it's not about the body size or the weight. It's about the person and the acting. Yeah. And she delivers perfectly. You guys said it all, and um, I think it is just about the person. Mm -hmm. it, it is how the person feels. If the person wants to lose some weight, ah, let her lose weight. Don't be selfish. Don't say that because you want, to, you want money and all that. Maybe they think that there will be a hitch or something. Uh, you know, in casting her and all that. Yeah. But let's see how that goes. That is what she wants. Yeah. And she would have thought about the pros and cons of it. I yeah. mean, job-wise, career-wise. Very true. Very true. Shout out to everybody who's actually taking their health very seriously. Seriously, yeah. Um, Eniola Badmos did 20 years yes. on stage, yes. looking absolutely phenomenal. Like, Amazing. see, everybody that's going through that journey is hard, but then we support you and we love you, okay?
And sometimes it is not <laughs> that they're not healthy, that yeah. people are fat does not mean that they're not healthy. Yes. But you might want to add a little flesh. You might want to, you know, take a I'm little flesh I'm trying to add a little off. bit of weight, though. Yeah, and yeah, it looks good on you. And you might just want to, you know, reduce it a bit. It, it's all about you. you. It all depends on Very you, true. you know. Yes. But our bottom line is just be healthy because we need your life. That's yes. all. All right, let's move on. Justice Smollett found guilty of staging fake hate crime. American actor and singer Justin Smollett has been found guilty of staging a hate crime against himself and lying to the police back in 2019. According to the jury, the Empire Star was found guilty of five of the six felony disorderly counts leveled against him after nine hours of deliberation as he was acquitted on count six. Chicago Tribune now reports that the convictions are class four felonies that could carry a three-year sentence and a $25,000 fine, but Justice Smollett may not serve any jail time and may receive probation since he doesn't have any uh, prayers. While his sentencing will be at a later date. If you recall, Jesse attempted to get the case dismissed in October because he had already made a deal in Cook County to drop the charges. The deal included community service and a 40, um, uh, what was that again? For, uh, forfeited $10,000 bond, but the request was denied. All this is coming after the actor was reportedly attacked by two men in what looks like a homophobic attack back in January 2019. Two Nigerians, the Oshindai Royal Brothers, were later named the alleged attack on Smollett while investigations and prosecutors argued that the attack was said to boost his career. Okay. Uh, so oh, this no. is back and forth, hmm. back and forth, back and forth, mm -hmm. and dude has lost a everything. Lot. A lot. He has just this. See, so I like, like I like that they said that he would get maybe a reduced sentence or probably yeah. you know because he didn't have any priors, and that's what we were trying to say. Yeah, in, uh, yeah. Him. Exactly in the Nakwa's um, situation because I don't think she had any priors. I don't think she's been to prison oh. before. So. But then this now is just all sorts of craziness because, first of all, I don't feel like he needed this drama to begin with. Mm. He was already doing fantastic on the series that he was on. He was, like, we knew him. So the fact that you now went to, I don't know if I should say allegedly now, now they've said, yes, he did it, staged that because he's gay, that two brother, two people came to beat him up. Now they've got to the two brothers. They've now found out that apparently he planned it. So it's just craziness, and I, I don't know. He's just mad. I'm like, so how did you guys sit down and say, okay, you know what, guy? See, we go run this thing like this. You talk now, you know, come the, tie this, rope for my neck. The same way then, some people as in, sit down and plan to die and resurrect. Yeah. <sighs> Is 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 it's actually it's just crazy. crazy. It's just crazy, as you said, because for somebody who is cool and some looking, mm. doing well. Ah! He's spending me up. Like, he didn't even me. leave because he was doing <laughs> so very well. If he was well. in Nigeria, I would have gotten away with it. I mean, yes, we would not yes. even be on this matter again. Or maybe, I think, in fact, we would think that something was really wrong with him. But in that time, you don't do stuff like this and yeah. they will investigate it properly. I, I just pity him because I don't know what else to do. Because, okay, people have said, so why did you do this? But look at what this has cost him now. Yeah. Because he's even lost, even the shows that he's on, he's been dropped from the shows. Yeah. Now, even if you're expected to pay this fine, I don't know how he intends on paying the fine. The because, back no, because this has been going on for a very long time. So I'm sure he's already spent a lot of money on he's lawyers, on the back and forth in. and all that. So even if eventually he just gets probation, yeah. community service and all that, and he still has to pay that fine, how is he going to pay the fine? And how is he going to survive? Because nobody, I don't think anybody wants to be associated with At him. Even, even the community that they now feel like, because you're giving us a bad name as well. I, I shall pray that you, you don't wake up one day and they say that committed suicide, please. See, yeah, hopefully, because I, hopefully I, it, not. It's so difficult. Yes. I, I don't know. Times are really hard. Yeah. It's just, and then it's, it's just crazy. I just hope he gets through all this. I really do hope so. I really do hope so. I really do hope so. He's a I, I remember, I I remember like Monique. Things. Monique did not even do this. But look at what they have done to Monique. Like, they're not giving her jobs. They're not giving her... And it's almost like you offended hmm. Oprah Winfrey. Black you said something thing. against yeah. her and all that. Hmm. Uh, and he has lost so many deals thanks what? to this. Like, it's all right. Again, hopefully this gets sorted out and uh, he can move forward with his career and be forgiven. And uh -huh. yeah, because, <laughs> but yeah, I could trust Americans. They know they get coconut hair. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. It is now time for celebrity birthday shout out. All right, first on 
our list in alphabetical order, we have Dami Crane for the girls, who is 29 today. <laughs> Dami Crane is a Nigerian singer, composer, and performer, popular for songs such as My Dear, Ami, Sabi Dance, Izwe, Prayer, amongst others. It was My Dear uh, for me. Oh, my, my dear, my dear, my dear. So it was for me, it was, tell me say Ami. No, you know it was My Dear first, so that was when I fell in love. Then the Ami, I'm like, oh, and then people were like, ah, uh -uh, so this bad boy can be prayerful like this, like, Dami oh. Crane is just a sweetheart. <laughs> like that dude, it gives me a lot of wahala. Ah, no, Dami, like, Dami Crane, I, I think he makes a point of duty to stress you inside interviews. <laughs> Dami Crane, yeah. he can be so annoying, but I absolutely <laughs> adore him. Happy birthday! All right, also celebrating today, we have Raven Simone, who is 36. Raven Simone is an American actress, singer, and songwriter who began her career as a child actress, appearing as Olivia Kendall on The Cosby Show, Nicole Lee on Hanging with Mr. Cooper, and Raven Baxter on the Disney Channel television series That's So Raven, which all earned her number of awards and nominations. Mm. So it was that so raven for me. Me too. Where she used to have like premonitions about things that are going to happen. She just she not, she not let this. Mm. <laughs> it was always a facial expression. It was always so epic. Amazing. Happy birthday. Happy yes, birthday yes, yes. Her. All right. The lady with the body, Tiana Taylor, is 31 today. <laughs> Tiana Taylor is an American singer, songwriter, actress, dancer, choreographer, director, and model. As an aspiring songwriter, she has written records for artists such as Osha, Chris Brown, and Omarion. Mm. So my thing is, I don't like to do uh, relationship goals. I don't like to look at anybody as relationship goal. But you see her and her husband, Iman, yeah. I love mm -hmm. them. And the way she, see, she has children, but look at that body. See, Man, and if you want to wash clothes, just go and rub the thing on Tiana's <laughs> And then I love to see her on the red carpet. That's she right. always comes to slay. Like, comes through. She doesn't Gorgeous. Wear, the dress, no, they wear. Now she, they wear. Now she, they wear. Ha, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was Dami Crane with Ami. Such a classic jam. Okay, so we told you that we have a guest today joining us on the show, and he is here this afternoon. He's an Afropop singer and songwriter who has explored a variety of genres and vocal techniques to create his very unique sound and writing style. His first venture was on the rap scene, but after two years as a rapper, he found his niche as a vocalist, and since then, he has continued to develop his singing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Rashid in the building. Hello, Woo! Rashid. Woo! I am fine. Welcome to the show. Welcome. So you said you went uh, all out all night. Yeah. And you yeah, almost yeah. do stuff like you were not even going to make this interview. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? Kind of, kind of. It wasn't easy. Like we were all, we stood all night trying oh, wow. to oh, wow. perform and all that. So, ah, so your dating December has started. It started already. already. Uh, it has started dating. <laughs> <laughs> I started dating. That is amazing. All right, you are here today, and um, you started out as a rapper. Yeah, yeah, that's that was the trend that um, during my my peers we okay. used to rap. We used to live in one estate like that, so everybody used to do this um, um, rap battle. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, so that was the fun because. That was what make you look like a guy there. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Gangsta. Gangsta, yeah. <laughs> so that time, the old pencil jeans and all those stuff were not in trends. So it was yeah. all about baggy. Yeah. Your baggy has guns, you know. Yeah. It stuff like that. Yes, yeah. yes. So all of that was just for fun, and then you switched to being a vocalist. Mm, I didn't really switch. I think it was um, a need. Like, we're three in the group. And, um, oh, you're in a group? Yeah, we're ah, in a group. Hey, oh, okay. Hey, okay. Okay. <laughs> no, it wasn't easy to look for resources and all that yeah. for mm. the studio. Mm. So we, when we had three, okay, well, let me say this is how we started. Mm -hmm. I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you very much. I made it. I made you made it? it? Yeah. Wow. Uh -uh. So, so we'll get, get, we'll get to that. I'm a designer, I'm a fashion designer too. Um, I can, let me just oh, say, I'm, just, I'm still looking for my artistic um, side of me. So ah. for now, it's just me, You myself. made this, you're still looking for <laughs> the artistic side of you. Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. Maybe we will model for us at the end of the interview. So let's go back to the story, how so you started. So we were in a group um, with three. Uh, we started um, as um, just miming, 
So I used to have this friend, he's Igbo, my other friend, Yoruba, and I would be Yoruba. So this Igbo guy is the funniest, so he keeps doing this, um, this um, skit. They're from school, they started banging on the tables. Then when we're necessary, we try to do um, a rough demo. That's Thing now, so I was really angry because it was like um, it was like I was the weak one. Because then rap, you have to be a rapper to be a bad guy. <laughs> so I didn't really like it. And when I started singing for different places, shows and all that, and people started loving it, and they said she just continued with the singing, and that was it for me. So are you still going to go back to rap, considering what the what the country is saying? I mean, the um, music industry. Well, uh, what do you think about rap? Rap what, is rap is. Do you think it's lucrative? It's not lucrative at the moment, but we're getting there in Nigeria where um, people are now exposed to good music, and now you can have your small fan, and your fan is enough for you to eat. <laughs> Do you understand? Mm. So that's where the music is now. Mm. So I kind of think I'll venture to rap later on because I still feel like that sometimes there's this beat that gives me the inspiration. I want to rap, but the rap has left me kind of. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> your first love. Love is oh, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. But rap is very poetic, and you can actually say more words. Than when you're when you're singing, singing yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so who takes... who are some of the people that influenced you as a rapper? Because it seems like yeah, that rap is still I mean... it's still dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, no? because rap is rap was like the introduction introduction to my lyrics. Like, because yeah. if you're a rapper, you have to be a little bit poetic if you want people to enjoy. You. So I I listen to Nas. Oh. I listen okay. to Jay Z. Mm -mm. Then I listen to Lauren Hill. Let me see, she's my main inspiration oh, for everything. Wow. The it's singing, Lauren the Hill. rapping. And I like listening to, I like listening to to music, to artists that um that can rap and sing at the same time, like Wyclef John. So that's how I met Wyclef John. Cut down saying. Oh, oh you did? <laughs> I see by where, where, where? Oh, you, Can you imagine oh, still be getting excited? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. I actually want to say that's how I met him. Like okay. that's how much I loved him then. Yeah. So that's how oh, I used see. that's how I used to that. Yeah. Like that's how I met him because I find him much more in um, Lawrence Hill music. Like they kind of sing together most. So, mm -hmm. so when I listen to this, I'm strong in my pain mm -hmm. with his fingers. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I saw the intro there, kind mm. of. So that's why I started loving. That. Okay, a rapper can always sing and a singer can rap. Exactly. All right, so, so you said that Death in December has already started for you, yep, yep. and um, people have shows, they have concerts, a lot of a concerts. Lot. No. The calendar is in it, so. <laughs> uh, do you have your own program this year, this December? No, 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 because no. um, I'm still running a promotion for my new singles out of my EP. So I did an EP like um, last two weeks, released last two weeks, and it's um, called Juice and Gin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right, we will go on a quick break. We still have Rashid in the building. And for those of you just joining, that was his music video titled Credibility. Credibility. So how long have you been in the industry for? 10 years plus. Wow. Yep, yep, yep. So uh, now let's talk about that video, Credibility, okay. the song itself, what inspired it and why Credibility? Uh, Credibility is um, a feel good song that is supposed to just make you feel good. Uh, it's supposed to be clean, positive, don't talk too much about um, the girls, the drinks. Just, you know, the incredibility came from this um, angle of um, we've been going through a lot in Nigeria and we need to like give ourselves that break. Like, you deserve that credit. So that's where the word came in. Like, you deserve that credit. Life is too hard in Nigeria, but you need to give yourself some credit, credibility. Who so shot the it. video? Um, my friend, Oladji Meji. Oladji Meji film books. He's into advert now, so he's doing pretty much. Okay, I'm because sure. I, I like it when, you know, there are some names that yeah. you've not heard of and they're doing fantastically well. Like, you see it and you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, because that was a very, that was a very clean video. Mm -hmm. Like, the location mm -hmm. and everything was working. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was yeah. just thinking, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> made crazy So, sense. did you style yourself for the video or did you wear any of the pieces in the video? Uh, my water straws is in the video. Okay. okay. Then the rest was owned by um, Sadiq. Okay. okay. Yes, so he's trying to. All right, so what are these, those things that we should look forward to? From Rashid. You should look forward to um, what can I say? Good music. Mm -hmm. Music that will touch you. Music that is true. Then um, the performance side, I'm trying to like craft that side. It's not been easy for me because I used to be this Arab artist. Yeah. Okay. I mostly sit down and perform. Okay. So now I have to, even the directors have to force me to dance. And it was not in my comfort <laughs> I get shake. it. But do you know how to dance on in a multi? 
I no. also dance when I'm in front of the mirror. <laughs> no, don't worry, I'm not alone. We are together. So well, all right, well, okay. wow. well, maybe mine is Catherine, because then we can dance. Okay. All right, so who would you like to sit down and perform with? If yeah. you could pick three people. In Nigeria, the Water Lodge. Walt, yeah. Walt. Lauren Hill, that's my favorite. And then Nigeria. I like to perform with Asha. Oh, Asha. Okay. And I then think, are we I expecting think I get more? The vibes. Yeah. Are we expecting more of this from you? Yeah, yeah. This is like my style for 2022. And I think mm. you should pursue it too. I yeah. mean, put it down. You can be doing stuff side by On the side. side. So this music is kind of, um, it makes you kind of busy. No, let us know about uh -uh. it. We'll support you. Okay, yes, now it's going to be a hobby. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> absolutely love that. All right, thank you so much, Rashid, for being on today's show. Looking absolutely phenomenal. Thank you Might much. steal these pants before you go, but let's All see right. how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to be back to check out some of the craziness happening on social media, on social view, so make sure that you do not go anywhere. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It is time for Socialville, where we will be checking out the madness happening on social media. Let's get right into it. Okay, so <laughs> this one says, apart from life is short, what other lines do you use before you make bad decisions? I can't call my female self. Well, that's the same energy. Honey mm. pots. What do you tell yourself before you do something? Uh, I tell myself um, that it is still one death that we kill somebody at the you end know. of the day. Nobody is living this life <laughs> alive, so <laughs> I mean, just do it at the end of the day. Run up. Okay, so How I think you? my own is, they know they do my boy for heaven, they don't say they come. Ah. So just the group, they go. Ah. <laughs> Come on, kill yourself. Ah. Yes. And he agrees. No, you have to agree because ah. you have to enjoy yourself. Ah. Why be thinking of saving one money like this? You now. <laughs> All right, so this is some motivation for you. It says, if life knocks you down, please lie down there and sleep. I know guess trying to motivate anybody today, I never chop. So this, this sounds typical in Nigeria, mm -hmm. because you see, Oyimbo people, when somebody wants to commit suicide, everybody will come out, they'll say, no, they'll be telling the person different, different we things. Oh, we love you. Oh, no, don't take that decision. They will quickly call, but in Nigeria, they'll say, ah. Mm, if so that would be enough for us. If you want to jump, <laughs> make jump now. In fact, they only ask me why they take time. So we're going to jump. Person one jump, I don't jump by now. <laughs> See, we need to do better in this country. I know, that, I know that we're all frustrated, but... I know! Come on. They won't encourage you. I swear. <laughs> like, you'll make space for other people, I swear. I swear. All right, hey. Mean King in the building, in a dress. <laughs> he says, not sure whose baby I am, oh, but your baby is stressed. Mm. So some days it be like that. It be like that too. Like you just wish that somebody can just sort your life problems, but it's just very unfortunate no. that you. No. This week it has been like that for ah. me. Oh, no, but I you, don't know. Oh, no, but you have spent all your money on food. Uh, I don't know <laughs> whose baby I am, oh, but your baby is stressed. I need ah. help. I've been shouting this, and people say I'm joking. I say I need help. Mm. I, I need your help. Yeah. <laughs> See, awesome. I think at this point in time, maybe we should all just go and find baby, so that. Because. At the end of the day, ah. I don't get, I don't know whether I get baby. I don't get baby. Please, so please, who's baby? Who's baby are we? Who's baby are we? Maybe less. Maybe less, so. Hmm. That's the one. All right, so this is something that happens to me from time to time. It yeah. says, once I'm broke, if you like, invite me for an all expense paid out sin, I will not come. Mm -hmm. I cannot be having fun and be having mental arguments in my head on whether you will run away or I'll be stranded with bills to pay. Never. So it is me. Oh, it's you too. Don't do me that 20 means. times. I'll stay See, busy. There's something called the power doing. of vex money. I may not be the one to pay, but I like to know that if need be, I can pay. So did they buy no con day you are thank you. Did they oh. buy no con day you are like this? Then person goes and says, so how do we split split the word? <laughs> Did you no, not tell me? Is that... Ordinary, I want to go and use myself. You will be you will monitor the person. Ah. <laughs> no, I don't ah. just like I don't like what I hate. Ah. So I would rather not do certain say, things. We stay in our house mm. and drink cold garam sulfate. Mm. Which thank you. Mm, I'm so proud <laughs> to, to be doing nonsense workout hey. for now. <laughs> um so this person says, I have decided to leave my past behind me. So if I owe you money, I'm sorry, but I have moved on. Have no, you heard, have no you, I will call you back. Have that, you heard what, the what phrase, you your past will haunt you? This will go on to you. What do you mean? So this person is trying to ah. move on with their life. Why eh. can't you allow them? But you know some people are very poor with lending, borrowing money and mm -hmm. then returning money. Oh, yeah. 
they are very, oh, yeah. very poor. Uh, oh, yeah. When they, are, when they want to borrow the money from you, they are like this. Please, keep the same energy. When See. it is time to return it, keep the same energy. See. In fact, let me drag one human being. <laughs> so I was going to travel, and then she said she needed money. She was going to do a be something, something. She was going to pay by Monday. It's been two years, like <laughs> Ah. Yes. Uh, Lada, it's been two years, so it's as though you need to do the use. And the funny thing is, why are you opening your mouth? And the funny thing is, <laughs> the funny thing is, her friend now had issues with me and wanted to fight me. She too, she was joining the fight. Uh-uh. Hey, it is how I you see, are I don't understand. Oh, you can't fight me when my money is in your hand. You, you <laughs> can't see that. Thing. What? People that go home uh -uh. and don't return, they used to have this confidence. Ah. Uh -uh. And they will come back to meet you. And she'll be there doing... Hi. Oh, me da, be oh da, oh da, oh da, oh me da. It is remaining for Nana to just put your surname. Honey, Baba, you know I can. Let's move on. The problem is I don't know it. Okay. So as I said, that to all those of you who join prayer meetings on Zoom, mute the audio, disable the camera, then go to sleep. Pretending to pray with us, God is watching you. God is watching you. So this was me during one office meeting that year. Not this office, that year, during a lockdown. They would just be talking, me and Father, with pillow like this. I'll like, just come back and see that uh, meeting is over. We just off laptop because... So how do you know what you reach what out to someone? If, it's, if it concerns me, they will... <laughs> is this one not even better than all what? those people that will not know that their this thing is on it's and on. then they will be doing this stuff? That's the oh. one. It's very embarrassing. Like, I saw one yesterday. They said uh, that... Uh, they said there that was one that I can't the guy, the guy about. Said, the guy said that... Uh, Oh, my, my spirits don't tire for this office. <laughs> the organ now say, the the organ one, Yeah, the organ I replied, and I said, I shall be, be, be bringing your body to work. <laughs> that one is better. The woman that was on the ah. uh, meeting, she was on a meeting, video meeting, and her husband came in. And in her mind, she has put off the mic and everything. And she said, You know, these people, they start with their stress. And, and, the, and he was executing me. Ah. We can still hear you. Like, oh no, that wasn't for you. That you don't go. I want you. Please just be very careful with uh, Zoom meetings. Thanks and God bless. Hmm. All right. So they, let's find out who the they are. We will drink and play Ludo with you on the last night they are leaving Nigeria. You will not know they are traveling out. Why? I know them. Okay, because they them. are typical Nigerians. Hmm. We have gone back to that. So mm -hmm. they tell you that. If you tell people that you are traveling, mm -hmm. perhaps your mm. village people would have gone to look for your seat number As and then they would have sat down there before you get there. <laughs> so mm. to avoid accidents, that mishaps, please just shush um, yeah. and then travel when you get there. Yeah, you know where this thing originated from? I think somebody posted a picture of their ticket and said, oh, leaving. Somebody now took details from the ticket and went to go and cancel the flight. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Who is that? I saw it on one app like that. <laughs> I said, wow, <laughs> you can't find another better flight. Yes. So people wow. are not always security conscious because yeah. I count it all to be security mm -hmm. issues. People are not always yeah. like that. I tell people, even to, to people who post their children's pictures inside school uniform. In, and I'm like, come and pick your ah, child from they'll give you. your mother sent me. Ah. Well, let's be focused in serious, this life, so. all right? Okay, um, so <laughs> see me looking like this uh, granite with my popo. <laughs> <laughs> they said, the gossip hits differently when this is available. Yes. You guys know what this is, yes. right? Yeah. No. It, keeps you, it. It. it keeps it. Keeps I mean, it. it keeps you busy. I don't like so you it. Well, just I like it. So you, you are doing it. So it's like a chore on its own. Yes. As you are doing it, you don't know, the, the gossip will just be going. It don't it go. go. You will not look at time. Time don't go. The only thing that does me like this maybe crab. When you are cracking the bag, just the. Ah no, that crab on the street. Now we suck it. But that crab one, we cannot be gossiping with it. You this can go to with it. Oh, ah, crab too. Too. Oh, that one is, uh, No, you put attention. Ah. In, but this but one this is one, this, one, this one is serious. Uh, you don't, so my mom used to eat this thing, and she just be like, I'm like, this sound of this thing is so annoying. It is so, also now part ah. dirt when you finish. It's made out of back is now, normally. Uh, well done. But well, she they try to put them for Lila, but what we miss, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet. OK, so um, they are dragging my first uh, dream job, customer care. They said, I think being a customer care rep in Nigeria can be traumatizing. A country where everyone is angry. I'm praying for you guys every day. It's true. Very true. Yes, very true. Customer care people, they need a special, I don't know, addition to their salary or something. Because people are already angry. Something will now annoy them more. They will now call you. 
So you that are not the one that committed the offense, you're not the one that now has to deal with it, no. And I can't believe I wanted to be a customer care representative Man. once upon a time. I don't know why. Because I thought I'd just be meeting people. Oh, hi, oh, can See. I help you your problem? <laughs> See, See, I, I don't have to be the one who they call you. Like, hey, what is wrong with my guards? I, I will drive you. No, I don't blame them. Let because me. sometimes you call customer care. You spoke, I've spoken to you. You said I should call back. They don't give me to honey pot. Please hold. Please hold. <laughs> Then they, I now call back, it's only pot, and now start my matter from beginning again. So it's when we've made headway. <laughs> so at the end of the day, so the thing that they had to do a TikTok challenge. Hello, customer service, can I assist you? The guy was like, can I speak to someone who speaks English? I said, please, I will transfer you to somebody else. So even people can be frustrating. See, it's just madness. But that is it on <laughs> Social View for the week. And of course, the first hour of the show too. We will be back at one for the second half. So keep it locked. Oh yeah, so welcome back to the second half of A Slash. It is now time to treat off. And today being Friday, it's all about a grassy cheat. And I'm grateful. I'm very grateful for support. I'm grateful for people around me, people who constantly support me no matter the odds, even when people say Yeah, being no. Catherine. Even when I'm yeah, even when I'm being Catherine. <laughs> You what? should thank me. Yeah. Especially. Even when I'm being Catherine. <laughs> I, I greet you specially. I greet Honey you. Honey You should greet you specially. I greet you specially. Uh -huh, because yeah. Catherine can be a husband. What? When Catherine is being Catherine. Well, I know I play a lot on everything, yes. But I'm just grateful for support mm -hmm. from amazing people who, no matter what happens, they understand that this person is just being themselves. And... They know that when there's a need to scold me or tell me what I'm doing wrong, they call me and they tell me. It only makes me a better person. And I love you guys. I'm grateful for all your support, all your care, all your concern. And <laughs> I want you to know that I do not take it for granted at all. I don't. Yeah. We yeah, appreciate you. I, I thought you. Catherine was going to hit us with the, <laughs> I'm grateful for being Miss CBC. Yeah, I'm already grateful for that. Everyone knows since <laughs> last week. I'm grateful. <laughs> yeah, that's still talking about support because yeah, I got I support from the uh -huh. TVC entertainment team and I won the TVC communications pageant. And I'm now TVC communications beauty queen, Miss TVC communications. <laughs> and that earned me the name Queen Cat. So yes, I'm grateful for everyone. I'm grateful to everyone. And I'm also grateful for you guys. Yes. We love you. That's it. We, we love you too. You know Jay's voice. We love you. We love you. You know Jay's voice. We love you. We said you know Jay's voice. It's not my business. We love you. you. Catherine, uh, I love you. Uh, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> I want to agree. Oh, I want to agree. Yeah, but I like that. Only buzzes. When she's no, no, when she's being Catherine, when she's being Cathy. Oh, Cathy. Oh yeah. Yes. That's where I got it. That's where we want to struggle. Sometimes I don't understand Catherine. To be honest, so. Sometimes she'll be looking at me and she'll say, Honey, but why are you smiling? Or why are you looking like... So she's telling me something, but I'm just looking at her like this. So I'm, I'm looking through her like... Catherine, is everything fine? <laughs> Catherine are very interesting, actually. And um, I think it comes from that innocence side. Like, that's just... what This is just... It is you. one of positive <laughs> vibes, man. Always oozing oh, positivity. My word. All right, thank you, Dala. Bye. Thank you, Honey, we bid, right. we bid you... <laughs> I gotta anyway. take my walk, <laughs> you know. As what can you walk on Miss TVC mm -hmm. day? Uh -huh, uh -huh, as a queen. Uh -huh. Oh, Shay, give them. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, we play too much on this <laughs> show. <I'm> okay. <laughs> That's why some people think that there should not be any money for what to come to do because I see so many comments just say, ah, ah. And this is work, Shay. <laughs> do, you know do you know my, you know my mom's friend actually said it? She was like, ah, I like this, your daughter's work. Will you just sit there and be laughing? Hey. Like, oh, come and sit down here. Why you not the great, 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 great? But they don't know. So <laughs> that is what makes it very attractive at the end of the day. Exactly. All right, so. It's time for a recap of Entertainment News in case you missed it. And so we told you Aqua Pempolo files appeal notice to stay out of jail. Yep, we also told you that Rebel Wilson talks about her weight loss. Joseph Smollett found guilty of staging fake hate crime. Uh. Crazy, 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 crazy. All right, we're going to be back with our second set of guests. So make sure you keep it locked. Yes, thank you so much for staying here with us. Don't you just love the Friday vibes? Oh my gosh, yes, we do. And we have in the building two very beautiful, very powerful 
Zingers, who are here to talk about something exciting going down today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us an alternative R&B, alternative jazz and Afrobeat singer-songwriter, Lady Don Lee. And, of course, another superstar whose sound oscillates between soul, jazz and R&B. Tommy Owo right here in the building. Good. Ah, did you plan the blue, blue? Yeah, yeah. Very coincidental. Oh, wow. Oh, well done to you guys on your works. I really, really do love. I love cash. Thank you. Uh, I love that we... Um, uh, you actually sang for us last year, and uh, it was, uh, we were doing, uh, we were Christmas playing with words season. and all that, and it was yeah. Christmas. Yes. And now you're here again, and it is Christmas season. There is something about festivity uh, about hey. you, right? Yeah. <laughs> we love, 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 love. So, of course, we are really looking forward to the event today. And you really want to tell us what we are looking forward to from each of you. So, Lady Don Lee, you start. Um, tonight is just going to be good energy as always. I feel like every time I'm on stage, that's what it is. It's just like I bring a new energy to different sets, you know. And today, you know, it's like an all-female lineup, so that makes it even super special, mm. more special for me. So just like that bond of sisterhood that we get to experience on stage. Um, so I'm, I'm like super pumped. I'm super excited. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing. It's a super special event. It's an all-female lineup. Um, it's good vibes, and Falano is headlining. Falano is someone I respect so much, and I admire her work. So it's really special to be in this um, community of ladies doing amazing things and performing to our festive audience this December. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. amazing. So if you guys are confused as to what they are talking about, they're talking about the Max Activates concert happening today. And I don't know why every time I hear, I just make, bring this Holy Spirit, activate. Yeah. <laughs> activate. Yeah. So why did you both decide that you were actually going to perform? Because you could have said, you know what, it's dirty December, we're busy. But then you guys decided to make out time to actually perform at this concert. Why? Um, Falana, I, I absolutely love her. She's one of the best vocalists of this generation, in my humble opinion. And like, if she calls me, I answer anytime. Mm. You know, so that's yeah. what it is. Amazing. How about you? I mean, um, you can't say no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is Dirty December for us. This is my version of Dirty December. Wow. Doing what I love to do. You're so always. calm in saying that this is my <laughs> version of Dirty December. And I'm like, <laughs> is it Dirty? Is it going to be Dirty? Like this? It better be yeah. Dirty in it that voice. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, so we've gotten great music from both of you. And sometimes I imagine all female artists, especially alternative artists, coming together to do a song. So is that going to come? to life anytime soon. Do you guys have anything like that in mind? Away from the <laughs> concerts. So it's already happening in, po in pockets. It's already oh. happening bit by bit here and there. Not bit by bit, a lot. It's happening a lot. So in terms of all of us coming together yeah. for one thing, for one song, it's definitely possible. And I feel like we'll just take the right um, occasion, the right um, drive or the right thing happening, probably for a social cause or something that's bigger than everyone, you know, than all of us. And they would really, really make sense to do, yeah. Okay, right, so yeah. now back to the concert tonight. Okay. What should we expect? Obviously, your performance, what else are we looking forward to? And what are you looking forward to at the concert? Because obviously, you're performing, but you're also guests there. Other people are performing. Mm -hmm. So you have something you're looking forward to, right? So what are your expectations tonight? My expectations, my expectations are to have a good time to have an amazing time with the audience. We have just started with live shows again after 2020. Yeah. And the hunger is there for us as performers and for the audience, you know, experience, experiencing live shows again. So it's just good vibes all through, good music, good spirits, lifting spirits, and um, letting the music do the work that, that it's meant Hallelujah. to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Lady yeah. Dolly? Um, as Sumi has said, it's like, I feel like this is like the inception of Dirty December again. Yeah, it's like, yeah, this, this is like yeah. kind of like launching it. So like, I'm looking forward to just that energy of, oh, we haven't really been to live shows. Yeah. And it's such a stellar lineup, you know, I respect everyone yeah. um, performing. And I know it's going to be such a strong show. Yeah. Um, so as long as the music is good, the sound is good, you know, we're surrounded by good people, then, you know, that's a great night. That's a historic night already. 
Yeah, amazing stuff. All right, guys, we will go on a very quick break. And when we do get back, the beautiful ladies are still in the building. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the show. We still have Lady Don Lee and Tommy Owo in the building. And you just saw one video each from the both of them, which is a little sample of what's going to go on at the Max Activate concert. Yes. I nice. am loving it. Oh, I yes, it. yes. Love it. And I love the sound of cash, man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that that wearing, cash. I mean, You're wearing green, I mean. Green, green. 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 talking about money, money, money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I think I saw that you're having your own, because it's December already. Yeah. Uh, I said it's December already. We are in the <laughs> middle of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And um, apart from, uh, you know, Max Activate, uh, um, I saw that you're having a show this December. Yeah, I have a show on the 20th of December. Mm. Oh, 20th of December at um, Biariga. It's in Biariga. Nobody ever does shows on the mainland. Uh, uh. So what true. is it about mainland and what is it? I mean, do you, you have a soft spot for mainland? Yeah, I just feel like the energy, the vibes are just pure, man. Mm. Like, <laughs> the streets, like, you, like, to the roots. Because it's like everyone journeys all the way to the island all the time. And there are bare people that live, a lot of people have their family homes on the mainland. Mm. A lot of people are with their family right now. Like, so should they suffer? Or like, why must, <laughs> as in, why, as in, why must people journey all the time, yeah. like, to the island for sure? So I'm like, yeah, like. Let's do this. Yeah. No. Yeah. All, right. All right. So uh, talking about your video and your performances that I have seen, I've seen you perform with the cavemen and... There's this synergy I always notice every time you guys climb the stage. Is there any other song coming out soon with uh, Caveman? Uh, honestly, the thing about Caveman is that like, we're like family. So we, like, we make a lot of music, even subconsciously. Like, every time I'm in their house, we're always making music. But we're not really like pressed to like, put it out right now. Oh, there's something. You know, there's, a, there's a lot of music, but I guess it will come out you know, at the right time. All right, tell me what's happening. Uh, in fact, I really love your voice. I love that you're calm and it's just so, so like in this Nigeria, we need to stop like because everybody is crazy and uh, you know the situation now. So, uh, is there anything you are having this December that is yours? I'm also performing at another all female lineup this okay, Sunday, okay, okay. and I have a, a couple of other performances planned for for December. In terms of my own show, not yet because I'm building up to releasing new music. Um, so what are in the works, year. new uh, singles, or, you know, a body everything of work? Everything beautiful, everything, videos, singles, a body of work, a very beautiful body of work, which I have worked so hard on this year, and I'm really looking forward to releasing it soon. So this body yeah. of work, who are the artists featured? Oh, lip sealed. I, I mm. wish I could. Mm. <laughs> I, I knew you were getting oh, there. See, that. That. my head was going to say, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. just <laughs> at least one or two. You know what? I will say something. Okay. Earlier this year, I went to Ghana in um, January to February, and I got to collaborate with some amazing Ghanaian artists. Um, and it was it was lovely, and we have some special songs coming out next year. So that that's all I can say at the moment mm. Don't talk regarding about collaborations. But my body of work is coming, and I'm I'm really excited about it. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah. So the concert this evening, um, it's happening where? At the backyard. At the backyard. Yes. yes, and this has been put together by our sister station Max FM. What do you like about Max FM? They play my music. <laughs> <laughs> FM supporting artists, so big love. You know, it's not a lot of um, stations that you know support independent artists. Um, so I have like a lot of respect for Max, Max FM. And that is why when they call, you know, that's why when they call, we answer. <laughs> Love, love, I love. love All right, so once a very big thank you to Tommy Owo and Lady Don Lee. <laughs> I mean, T Cash <laughs> for coming on the show today, telling us about Max Activate. And uh, we are definitely going to be a part of it because I, I, mm -hmm. now we they do something now, now, sister station now. I mean, and I think that you should because it will be worth the. I mean, did you watch their videos? Did, do you know these people? Leave them. Do you know Palano? Leave them. <laughs> <laughs> they will hear about it. <laughs> All right, and that's it with our guests. We'll be back after this timeout for our Shop Shop Game Show Giveaway Raffle Draw. Okay? That's someone's yeah. name now. Yay. And no, yeah. right? <laughs> I beg. Oh, I yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> no, because that, that, that year, you know, like I was talking about, people just discovered uh, Burner Boy's year. As in. And like, hey, yeah, see how some people are working like this and it's working for some people. Nah. Interesting stuff.
Happy life. life. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back again with our Shop Shop Game Show giveaway. If you are following our social media platforms at TVC Connect on Instagram and Facebook, we are sure you saw the questions we put up, which was, who was the last throwback guest on the show? And mention two gifts that were given out on the show, courtesy the Shop Shop Game Show. The correct answers are Benita Okoje, and the gifts are ceiling fan, microwave, laptop, gift hampers, blender, any of the two. All right, all right, all right. So you all sent in your answers by commenting on our post on Facebook and Instagram, and we had a <laughs> lot of correct answers. So in the spirit of fairness, as usual, which means we're all eliminated from playing the game, <laughs> we will be having the Sharp Sharp Game Show <laughs> raffle draw right here on East Flash. Okay. So we have selected five names with the correct answers from Instagram and another five names from Facebook. And the lucky name we will be picking this afternoon from the Magical Bowl. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so, and uh, that person will be winning a gift amper. Yeah. And movie tickets, cut to say the Sharp Sharp Game Show. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Can I have my name inside? No. no. Oh, wow. no are you no, really no, no, no. ready? Woo. <laughs> okay, see, see. Oh my god, see, oh my god, see, oh see, 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 see. Do see, it like we're doing it, man. Yeah, don't let one fall down. Oh, yeah, honey pot, speak. Oh, yeah, see. Okay, I have picked. She just picked one. So, drum roll! <laughs> <laughs> the winner is. Oh, Lori Adenike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, the winner of the Shop Shop Game Show giveaway raffle draw right here on East Flash is Olori Adenike. We congratulate you. Congratulations. I congratulate you. I congratulate oh, wow. you. You didn't know this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let me say so, congratulations so, hey, and, and jubilation. We have got it on celebration <laughs> in our East Flash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Olori Adenike is actually going to be going home with a hamper yeah, and movie yeah. ticket. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so you okay. two can be like our winner today. All you have to do is look out for the next set of questions on our social media platforms. Give us the correct answers and you instantly qualify for the East Flash Raffle Draw, where you can win exciting prizes, just so you know. We still have more where that came from, and that's easy, courtesy the Sharp Sharp Game Show giveaway. Yeah, so congratulations once again, the lucky winner, Olori Adenike. Yes. We will be back after this timeout. Don't go anywhere. Guys, we have come to the end of today's show, but before we go, of course, we always need to let you know that this is a reminder that happiness is absolutely free. See, wherever you are, yeah. whatever is happening to mm -hmm. you, you whatever might not have the most. Whatever outfit you are wearing. Of course. It's not about <laughs> that. Happiness is always from within because happiness is free. Very free. And that's it today on the show. It's been an amazing journey so far. Y'all have been with us from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, to Friday. You have to sing Friday. it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday. <laughs> All right, that's it on East Flash for the week, but it doesn't end here. No, we have the highlights tomorrow, 12 p.m. on TVC. And thank you so much for always staying with us. I obviously didn't do this alone. I did it with da la 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 and honey pizzo, honey sassy, honey rubber, honey pot for sure, honey shmoney. All right, guys, I'm Kathleen, I have a real hot mess. And you know me as Queen Cat. Thanks for all of your support. I love you guys. Bye for now, guys. Hey.